we got us here nice good old-fashioned pizza cola Navarre Beach and tuna all right and um, what we're gonna do the best thing to do with these big tuna man you can sometimes you can take a knife and go right through it but these are so big you actually do it in two different lawns on each side and the best thing I figured out is do is you go ahead and cut that head off so we're gonna use a sword nine inch blade and if you feel around here you can feel a soft spot so you want to start right here next to his, his fin and come straight down to the head just like this to the middle of his head you can take your knife flip this fish around like so and you want to take the same thing go to the same angle but you see these fins right here you want to go right in front of it so come down and you feel like it go right through that bone because he's nice so dang sharp flip tune around you want to do the same thing take your knife come to that plane right here come down there's the head meat and you will take your knife again come through here go in front of the fence and come cut it right through by doing that you should be able to rip the tuna's head right out like so and his guts and everything will come out like so and you got your nice tuna head right here that will be shark bait But you want to go through his little anal cavity, butthole, whatever you want to call it, right through it. And open up the guts so you can get all the guts out. Just like that. That way you can open it up. You can take your knife or your hands and get the rest of the guts out. Nasty looking at that? Yeah. You okay? Yeah, it was just like <laughs> green coming around your finger. We got the, the tuna head pretty much guts gone, head gone. It's easy to play. We'll take a nine inch blade, we'll put it up. We got a new seven inch flex blade. We're gonna play this bad boy. Multiple ways you can do it. What I like to do is go and make the first cut here by the tail, straight down. Tuna has really tough skin. And actually, you can look right here. You can see where the meat quarters at. And you can take a knife, and there's also a little line you can see, which is his um, lateral line. You see right here? Look real closely. You take your knife. Let me make that look hard. So, you come all the way down your tuna. And this is going to be in two loins, two quarters. And most of the time, you can take your knife, and you can just actually rip it away. I've seen people do that before. But we're going to cut. So, right here, as you can see, uh, most fish, they got a little flap right here where you can stick the knife in and get a head start. I'm going to cut down. So, that's what I'm going to do here. Take this nice seven inch, and you want to fill that knife on that backbone Look all the way down. Just like this. You want to take a knife this way. Knife. You can rip, but you can also almost pretty much just pick it up and separate the meat from the bones like that. You take it up, come through this way, and you go across them bones like so. And we got little pin bones right here. Just got cut through. And you're gonna get a nice fillet. Now we got out pretty much off the fillet. You can see this knife? Just come right through here. Let's make one last final cut through here. You should be able to get this whole fillet off, like so. And there you go. One nice tuna slab. We'll clean it up here in a minute once we take this other corner off. You can, you got more room to work now. You can see the tuna has a big um, backbone. It's raised. Hey, okay. you can take your knife. You go this way. Come down. And slowly, you want to hear that knife go across his, his bones, that bone like so. You can go ahead and stick a knife all the way through. See how it comes right there? And move that sharp knife through there like so. Same thing go here. Come, come. There's a 
another plank of black meat tuna right there. Now there's some gonna be some meat between the bones, you can't get them all with a the knife. If you really wanna get some tuna, you can take your spoon and scrape the rest of that off. Now it's got really good belly fat, which is supposed to be a real good part of the tuna. But I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna put it in the freezer and cut it in strips and save it for snapper bait. Now my hands are absolutely freezing right now because it's very important to keep this fish ice cold, especially when it's sushi quality meat. Alright, we got a bag. We're still gonna use a seven inch blade. And we're gonna start with the bottom half. And you see this bloodline, you wanna take that off. So seven inch I mean a seven inch flexible comes really good with that. I'm gonna slice through that bloodline. Like so that off then you want, always want to start from the, the tail end up and you want to go kind of slow with this because you want to get as close to the skin as you can once you get started grab your hands and slowly work it just let the knife do its job if you got a sharp knife we'll be able to do this so it's super easy so and there you go, beautiful black fin tuna meat, there's the skin, and clean up, clean up that bone right here, there you go, put that in a bag, now we're going to do the top one, which is the, my favorite part, because this looks better, get all that bloodline, now you want to cut that out. Alright, you're good. Alright, now you got all the bloodline cleaned out. You got this nice loin. Do the same thing. Start from the tail. And work your way up. Just take your time. And let the knife do the work. And there you go. Beautiful, nice black fin loin. And you don't want to rinse this off of fresh water. You want to, you want to keep them. You want to pat them, pat them, pat them, clean them up with a paper towel. Never rinse tuna or any saltwater fish with fresh water. It messes up the meat very bad. And that's pretty much how you break down the black fin tuna. That's the way I do it. There's many different ways. Hope this video helps. And if you're interested in sword knives, I have a link in the description. You can check them out.